So I hear you want my advice again. Alright, come here. Let me tell you a little secret. What's up, guys? In this Nate on a Date travel guide, these are the places I've been to. It's a short list, but I'm sure you guys will find some value from it. This list is for those that are interested in dating or courting women within Colombia. In this list, we're going to mention museums, parks, restaurants, etc. And starting this out, if you and your date appreciate art and culture, Medellin's art museum are a must visit. The Museum of Modern Art, also known as the Medellin Museum of Modern Art or the MAMM, is a museum dedicated to modern and contemporary art located in the city of Medellin, Colombia. It was founded in 1978 and is considered one of the most important museums of its kind in the country. The museum's collection includes over 5,000 works of art, including paintings, sculptures, drawings, prints, photographs, and other installations. The collection spans from the late 19th century to the present day and includes works by Colombians and international artists. Expect to pay about 20,000 Colombian pesos, which is about $5.08 USDs. Another place that I have for you art and culture enthusiasts is the Castillo Museum. The Castillo Museum or Museo El Castillo is an elegant mansion now functioning as a museum in the barrio of Poblado. It is a must-see destination for those who are tourists and want to experience something new within the country's land. It is renowned for not only its remarkable art collection, but it's also charming setting in Poblado. And yeah, it's offering stunning views of the city as well as the mountains nearby. You can enjoy the garden before you go into the guided tours. The museum's collection encompasses European and Colombian art, decorative arts and antiques. So you and your companion can wander through the grand halls and beautiful maintained gardens, admiring the impressive array of paintings that they got, sculptures, artifacts, and things of the like. Remember, you can't take pictures inside unless they give you permission. There are dedicated locations where you can snap that nice Instagram selfie for you to show off to your friends, your homies, and your family as well while you're enjoying your day with your date. Also, keep in mind that this guided tour is strictly in Spanish. They don't, unfortunately, have English translators. So if your Spanish is not up to par and you just want to hang out and chill, go for it. I did it. My Spanish isn't the greatest. I can understand some things. But yeah, you can go enjoy the views. And if you understand Spanish, you can definitely pick up on some things unless you have a translator, which... I'm saying like if you are on a budget, right? So admission costs are approximately 20,000 Colombian pesos, once again, which is approximately five American dollars. Now this next spot is for those who like to date on a budget. Listen up, cause I'm only gonna say this once. You need to pay attention to this one because I can't tell you where exactly this is, but this is a known secret. It's no longer a secret, but this spot, it is located somewhere within El Centro, Plaza Botero, down in El Centro, where the big fat statues are. It's somewhere around there. I know when I was with Jeanette, we were going in and out of the bazaars, you know, the bazaars that they have, the small shops, and we went upstairs and we just ended up on the top floor to some art gallery, all right? I can't tell you where exactly it is, but if you happen to show up there, trust me on this. This is a great spot to bring somebody because not only is it free, but there is 15, like no, there is about five floors of stuff to explore. We spent at least three hours up in here walking around taking pictures until Jeanette started getting bored walking around and I'm here filming content, all right? This spot is a good spot, and I don't know if anybody else knows about this spot. If anybody else can confirm they've been to this spot, please let us know the name of it in the comments, but it's a good spot. 
If you can happen to pick up on the clues and find your way there, and you know the name of the spot, put it in the comments, because I don't know the name of this art gallery. I just know it was fire, and it gives you insight on what the Colombian artists are into. Like, a lot of superheroes, for sure. A lot of religious figures and a lot of superheroes, preferably Batman and your Wonder Woman that you'll see often. This art gallery, once again, is free. This mall is, is this, this is one of the biggest malls I've seen in my entire Columbia trip. I know Cali got a big mall too, but um, this one in particular, this one in particular is the biggest one I've seen in uh, Antioquia. Yes, guys, if you have been watching my channel for quite some time, you have noticed that I've been going to a lot of malls, regardless if it's in Jamaica, if it's in Costa Rica or here in Colombia. I like going to malls because this gives me an idea of what the locals like to do, how they like to shop, how they like to engage, what type of food choices they choose, and overall, what do they like to do for fun, you know? This mall in particular, the Mallorca Mall within Sabaneta is has to be one of the biggest malls I've been to here in Colombia. I thought the Envigado Mall was pretty good. I thought the Santa Fe Mall was pretty good. But needless to say, going to a mall is your for sure way of having some type of entertainment while you're dating. There is anything that you can do. You can go for a stroll. Walking through the mall, you can get lost into the mall. That's a good idea. If your date is a person that likes to have fun, then yeah, you can go here. But go to this Majorca mall, bro. I kid you not, this has to be the biggest mall. And it's a lot of activities to do. Lots of restaurants, lots of things, lots of games, and movie theaters here as well. You can't go wrong going to this mall. But this special thing that I found in this mall is they have bowling as well. It's called the Bolera Majorca or Majorca's Bowling Alley. This spot is actually a pretty good spot to bring a date here and there. Bueno. Estás gangando. Estás gangando. Bueno. I had to get that spare real quick. That should have been a strike. And she's beating me. Well, I'm, I'm winning actually at the moment. Bueno. She's beating me. Uh. All right, so for one hour, Monday through Wednesdays, you're looking at like 98,000 Colombian pesos, which is approximately 25 US dollars. And during the weekends, from like Friday through Sunday, you're looking at 110,000 Colombian pesos, which is about 28 US dollars. To rent shoes, that's going to cost you 6,000 Colombian pesos, which is practically like a dollar. You know what I'm saying? Like a dollar fifty. You can buy food here. You can get like a platter of food, which is going to cost you, once again, 100,000 Colombian pesos. Numerous amounts of spots that you can eat within this mall. And I recommend that you go do that rather than just eating at the bowling alley, unless you don't want to travel too far. Listen up, because you might miss something. So let's say you do take my advice and you decide not to eat at the mall, all right? Here's what you should do. You're going to be in Sabinetta already. So hop in a taxi, take that taxi all the way up to this Mirador. The name of this place is La Octava Maravilla. It's called the Eighth Wonder Bar in English. And it has some of the best views I've ever seen while having a plate of food in Colombia. Kid you not, this is the spot. I was sitting there drinking my pina colada and I was like, yo, this is dope though. But I would say expect the price range from 3,000 Colombian pesos all the way up to 132 Colombian pesos, which is approximately 76 cents to $33.48. Colombian is not supposed to have gringo prices, but you know, there is gringo elements here 
They speak English here. <laughs> so you already know what's going to happen if you hear them speak English. They're like, ready for a pocket damaging right now, all right? A, a pocket beaten. I honestly did enjoy this place. The aesthetics is pretty cool, man. This is the spot that you come to literally when the sun's about to set. You would want to head out here like Colombian sunset to like 5 p.m. This is all year round. So while you out there, you want to go out there like at least 4.30ish to set up the mood where you have your little dinner. And then, yo, get a, a bottle of wine or something like that, bro. Get yourself with some specialized drinks. And you just enjoy the views, man. I was out there taking pictures. And well, this is during when I was doing recon, all right? This is the spot that you go to, man. They, they hooked me up over here. I, I really did enjoy this spot. This spot is always going to get my coins, whatever have you. This spot is going to get my coins when I pull up. Just the atmosphere and ambience alone is enough for me to say yeah this is one of those spots that you have to come to when you're in medellin just it's a little bit out the way it's quite the trip if you're saying in poblado it's quite the trip but man this is worth it man this spot is worth it take it from me man this spot is something else and i recommend that you come here solo dota or with a muchacha you know what i'm saying enjoy the day enjoy the night man because like i said man service was pretty dope man the ambience was pretty cool and i thought this was a pretty solid spot i will definitely come back man an honorable mention will be malenga de tropico which is a caribbean cuisine spot i was put on by a venezuelan it's a couple of blocks from exito Lorelis and it is considered one of the best restaurants in the city. This place does offer a variety of drinks and cocktails for your liking, and the atmosphere alone is really relaxing. It really sets the mood, and it is a known spot for people to go take pictures because they do have a strong social media presence. So go ahead and go there and tell them that Nate sent you. Nate from Nate and Your Saints sent you and show them this video. Expect to pay at minimum 27,000 Colombian pesos to the maximum of 65,000 Colombian pesos, which is approximately $5.10 to $16.57. Tropical coconut wine. Mm. Interesting. Salty. But a kick of sweet. It's interesting. Mm. I like it. It has like an apple spice to it. It's strange, I like it. It's a coconut cocktail. I like it. Okay, so let's say you happen to be in El Poblado. You can hit up the neighborhood's oldest mall, which is Oviedo. Inside Oviedo, you're going to look for the roller disco, all right? So now it's a little complex how I'm gonna explain this. I can't give you pricing because they only give you the information via WhatsApp, right? I don't think it's gonna to be too much. I know personally within the United States, I've taken somebody ice skating. And I know skating in general is a great dating idea. And to find out that Colombia has something like this, this is yet another recommendation for you guys who want to do, if you and your date want to do something a little bit more fun, you know, roller skating. And when was the last time you done roller discos, right? So I'm going to put the information of the roller disco in the description. So if you want more information on that, don't forget to check the description and hit their link trees and you know, they'll give you instructions on how to reserve your slot when you get there and pricing and how it costs because I guess apparently I think it fluctuates. So yeah, this also includes the schedule as well. So apparently the schedule is different throughout the week because they do have special events and whatever have you. So if you're willing to put in some time to figure this out, go for it. You can't go wrong taking a date out to a roller disco. Trust me on this. It works in the United States. I'm pretty sure it's going to work over here as well. Because check this out. Y'all both could suck. And y'all can, can take L's dropping together. Hey, y'all can look cute dropping together on the floor. Or you can be the pro, you know. And she don't know how to skate. You can be the suave one teaching her how to skate. You know what I'm saying? And she falls in your arms and all that. Trust me, it works, man. Trust me. 
you can hold hands and all that and you can skate around it works man trust me on that i am at i believe the north probably the northeastern part of medellin colombia i think the barrio that i'm in is like miranda and i'm checking out this botanical garden because i like scenery and that type of good stuff maybe you like scenery and that type of good stuff too so hopefully this video might serve some benefit for y'all i haven't seen anybody cover this place so i decided to come and cover it myself hopefully this will be fulfilling for you don't forget like comment subscribe because you already know each like helps put this video out there so other people can see it helps your boy nate get high up in that algorithm and you're like yo man subscribe like comment share you already know this is nate from nate in your state let's enjoy this spot and like see what's over here i thought you had a pay but you just said let's go in or it might be a saturday thing who knows might be because it's saturday you don't have to pay but so far so good i'm liking that you can just roll up in here and see a whole bunch of good stuff you know what i'm saying but enough about me. Y'all wanted to see this garden, right? So for the rest of this video, maybe I might do a voiceover, but let's see what else we got over here. All right, so here's the cheat code. The reason why you should choose the Medellin Botanical Garden as a date idea, because look, the botanical gardens are designed to showcase the beauty of the nature, right? And with that being said, they often feature a wide variety of plants, flowers, and landscape that create a serene and visually appealing environment. So walking through these gardens can be a visually stimulating and enjoyable experience for couples. Botanical gardens are typically peaceful and tranquil settings, so it provides an ideal atmosphere for couples to relax and enjoy each other's company. The peaceful surroundings can create a sense of calm and intimacy, allowing for meaningful conversation and connections. Also, botanical gardens often offer opportunities for learning about different plant species, ecosystems, and conservation efforts. So exploring the garden together can be both fun and educational, providing couples with interesting topics to discuss and learn about together. And think about it like this, the natural beauty and tranquil ambiance of the botanical gardens can set up for a stage for romance, right? Whether it's strolling hand in hand along the winding paths, enjoying a picnic amidst the greenery, or simply sitting on a bench surrounded by flowers, botanical gardens provide numerous romantic settings for couples to enjoy. And plus, it's great for photos too. It's Botanical gardens offer your stunning backdrops for photos, making it a great opportunity for couples to capture beautiful moments together. Whether it's posing amidst colorful flowers or under the canopy of a majestic tree, couples can create lasting mementos of their time spent together. So overall, going to the Botanical Garden here in Medellin for a date offers a perfect blend of natural beauty, tranquility, romance, and making a memorable and enjoyable experience for couples. Plus, it's free. Free 99, you cannot go wrong. What's going on, y'all? This is Nate from Nate in your state. I'm with Jeanette and Sandra. Hola. Hello. <laughs> she said in English. Um, we're going to head off the metro. We're going to Parque IV, which is like far up north. I don't think I'm dressed for it, but I I'm ready for this. That same information that I said for the Botanical Garden of Medellin can be used for this park, Parque RV which is located in the northeastern region of Medellin. It's a little out there. You have to take a train and then cable cars to get up there. Parky RV is renowned for its stunning natural beauty with lush greenery, diverse flora, and breathtaking landscapes, right? So it offers a picturesque backdrop for a romantic date. The park provides a peaceful escape from the hustle and bustle of Medellin, and it's an ideal setting for couples to unwind, relax, and enjoy each other's company in this environment. Parque RV boasts an extensive network of hiking trails that can lead through forests, meadows, and hillsides. So exploring these trails together can be a great way for couples to connect while enjoying the beauty nature. This park offers various areas where couples can enjoy a romantic picnic amidst the natural settings. It's perfect opportunity to share a meal, relax, and soak up the scenery together. Plus, Park RV is home to a diverse breed of wildlife, including birds, butterflies, and sometimes small mammals that roam the park. And I think one of the best thing is the 30 minute to 45 minute cable car ride where you can see the entire Medellin, as well as, you know, enjoy each other's company while you're going through the cable cars. If you and your date are adventure seekers, the other side of the park has something that I really truly did enjoy, and that's zip lining, right? I, I call it platforming 
because the activity you're jumping on wooden platforms like this is Donkey Kong Country, and I was enjoying it. My, I was enjoying my time. The only issue is, right, if you drop, you know, it's gonna take a while for someone to come get you. So that was one of the most intimidating things. Not just dropping to oblivion, but falling from the zip line and getting stuck was the most intimidating thing. But trust me on this, this is a fun date spot. This is a real fun date spot. I didn't know that they had something like this. This cost me 40,000 Colombian pesos and I paid for Sandra and Jeanette to join me. But this was real fun, man. Like, you gotta bring your date to Parky RV, bro. You, you, you just gotta bring your date to Parky RV, all right? We gonna go up there. Now wrapping things up, we heading all the way to Rio Negro to a spot that not a lot of people talk about. To be honest, I haven't even heard much creators talk about this spot. I didn't even know this existed if it wasn't for Sandra and Jeanette that put me on. So I'm putting you guys on. Welcome to Confama Rio Negro, uh, amusement park slash botanical garden slash park for you to come and enjoy, feed ducks, enjoy scenery, go see a play or even ride rides. This cost me just about 34,000 Colombian pesos, which is eight dollars and 72 usds you can really just enjoy the spot i kid you not you know i got here a little late but you can enjoy what it is what they got you know the treats the snacks the food and you know the roller coasters and other attractions are there too when you go you got to go there early go there in the morning so you can have the best experience and once you're done with all of that you can spend the evening at san antonio De Parea Park, which is about 15 to 10 minutes from the Confama de Rio Negro. This area in particular, this small little town here in Rio Negro, is a whole vibe. I am not BSing you guys about this. This place is off the chain, man. Yo, I kid you not, man. I really did enjoy my time in Rio Negro, right? And people don't talk about this, man. Like, who's telling you about this stuff, man? And like, of course, every town square has a church and this area of the church was like packed with heads, bro. Every corner of those heads there, heads there. You know what I'm saying? Food, festivities going around, a whole vibe, bro. People just out and about 100% overwhelmingly slept on, bro. And it surprises me that people don't talk about this. So here you go here in Nate and your state, getting the 411, the scoop of what people ain't gonna tell you, right? So, so that way, when you guys pull up here next time, Y'all can go here yourselves and see what it's all about. Yo, tell me if I'm telling lies, man. Take it from me. You guys have to start venturing out. Medellin isn't the end all be all for all Colombia, you know? Travelers and visitors alike, you have to start venturing out to other places. There's a reason why I haven't even mentioned Guatape because between Medellin and Guatape, that's the only places y'all know about. How many people talking about Rio Negro? Unless you're talking about the airport, which is still classified as Medellin. But I digress. I know that there's probably videos out there or there's some creator out there that's showing people these areas that don't get the light of day but I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it in full detail or extensively or anything of the like. So hopefully this gets some light. and Hopefully this will encourage more people to check out some other areas within Medellin or within Antioquia, I should say, and venture out. Hopefully you're just as hyped to go check out Rio Negro. Maybe, maybe you're not. Or maybe you wanna check out some of these other spots that I have on this list, right? Either way, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below. Was this video a dub or was this an L? Let me know in the comment section. If you guys have any other recommendations or anything that I've missed that I could add to the Nate on a date list, go ahead and drop it down in the comment section below. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell so that way you get notified whenever Nate is in your state. Well, whenever Nate happens in another video. But yeah, we're trying to build this channel strong. We're trying to grow. We're trying to reach new heights. We're trying to get up there in this travel space. And I know I can do it with y'all help. We try to reach farther than beyond. You know what I'm saying? So more people can know who Nate is and what Nate Neal State is all about. Thank you so much for your time. And I'm looking forward to y'all replies. Keep eating. Keep exploring. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Nate in your state.